So this one, we're gonna make this beautiful, elegant flower. By the time you cut everything out, watercolor the petals, you can see that I watercolored these. I just took some water, wet them down first, and then I took a, a light red or pink um, watercolor and brushed it in after the petal was already wet. And it just created that bleeding effect with the petals. It takes a couple hours to dry, unless you have a warm fan or dryer. And then I pleated the petals, just like I showed you in the earlier videos, if you want to go back and check out those, um, to make all of these petals. And there's, I believe, 14 of these in all. A sample of the template, you don't have to be exact, just something that looks to that shape. Um, we'll make these petals. And this is done out of a double crepe, meaning two pieces of crepe paper are stuck together to create a thicker petal. One side is like an ivory and the other side is like a peach. And um, it just, it's a nicer petal. The other ones are a little bit thinner. This is done out of a thicker crepe paper. Both of these are from Germany. They're both German crepe florist crepe paper. Um, this is a little thicker. I liked the color of this for the leaves. The center is done out of, these are like a pressed cotton. They call them cotton, cotton centers. Or you can just use regular cotton balls. You're gonna glue, glue gun that onto a probably 20, 18 to 20 gauge wire. It's a heavier wire. We're gonna take a piece of this double crepe. It's a, like a, a yellow. And you're gonna wrap that around that and add a little glue to that. So you can just kind of wrap that. I've seen it where they've watercolored the center and it looks really beautiful. We're just gonna make it plain. So once you've got your center wrapped, then you can take the floral tape and it starts after you make a few of these, your hands start getting, they start to get waxy and sticky. And so you might wanna wash your hands because then it just makes everything not stick and you start getting black marks on your crepe paper. If you wanna add these little pips, they call them, these are the little stamens, you are going to wire these together like this. This is like an 18 gauge wire. And then take your wire and twist it. Hands here. And then you're gonna wrap the floral wire around that. Just keep them together so they're not flopping all over the place. Now, you're gonna add these little pips around your center. Just take one at a time. Now, you're gonna add your petals. Just gonna work your way around. Okay, so now we want to hide this part with what they call the sea looks of the flower, this little part. And I'm just gonna cut oh about two inches. Maybe six inches long. Now we're gonna fringe it. So you kind of do little, you don't wanna to make too big of a cut because it stretches. Okay, so there you've got that. Take the glue, you just start around the bottom. Wrap 
more floral tape around that. There you have the back. Now I'm going to add on my leaves and you're going to do the box pleats again. Use the glue gun burns. You should get that on. You floral tape it around. You can stretch it out. You can add on pieces to make other stems. I've even made little buds out of cotton ball centers and you just cover it with crepe paper and then you add the little petals around 